Welcome to Crossbridge Church Vision Launch 2014. God has truly been good to us this year here at Crossbridge Church, which we are truly grateful for. So let's review the blessings here in 2013 at Crossbridge Church. This past year, there were 11 people who came to Christ. 16 people followed the Lord in baptism. 32 people joined and completed the starting point class. 20 people became members of the Crossbridge Church. In our Fundamentals of the Faith class, 17 people joined and completed that class. In our counseling ministry, 33 people were helped to be able to live out their faith in Christ. We were able to help the people who were devastated by Hurricane Sandy. In the Long Island Marathon, over 100 of the members and attenders at Crossridge Church volunteered and helped. Our church gave $3,229 to help the victims of the tornado in Oklahoma. Our annual church picnic, we had over 300 people join us. For our Guatemala mission trip, we had 16 people join us and their lives were forever changed. Our church gave $3,947.50 to help the victims of the Philippine hurricane this year. And we added new missionaries to our church family. Kamish Johnson, Tom Dossie, and Matthew Breeden, Tim Halton in Peru, Karen Kolb in Guatemala, and Sean Williford in the Philippines. Here at Crossbridge, we added a mission intern position. Mike Thompson is now our mission intern. He has a wife and three boys. In 2013, here at Crossbridge Church, we had six primary ministries that made up our adult ministries. Life group, counseling, discipleship, starting point class, praise team, and outreach. We're hoping to add a seventh in 2014, but more on that later. We're asking that you help us make 2014 the best year of ministry here at Crossbridge. The way that you can do that is by prayerfully considering how you'll get involved. Whether it's leading a new life group or being trained to be a counselor, taking the starting point class or being involved in an outreach, how will you be involved in 2014? I was very happy when I heard our church's mission statement and the focus on making gospel disciples. You see, a number of years ago, our children's ministry name was changed to Discipleship Kids. A disciple is a follower, a learner, a pupil. And as stated in our ministry handout, our purpose is to partner with parents to teach the children God's word and that they may make the choice to follow Jesus and, and have a personal relationship with him. So all along, our children's ministry has been involved in assisting parents to raising godly gospel disciples. Today's statistics are sad. The new 18 is 12. Today's 12 year olds are much more knowledgeable than ever, mainly due to the internet and the many forms of media. So the statistics show that only 4% of children will accept the Lord after the age of 12. That means that children's ministry has an even more necessary and vital role to play. We volunteers are committed to sharing God's gospel message with the children he sends us each week. As a quick review, Discipleship Kids serves children from the nursery through fifth grade each Sunday morning during both services. In 2013, we expanded the Wednesday evening prayer circle for the children. In July, VBS was a blessing to all. In September, with the new school year, we started a new curriculum through LifeWay called the Gospel Project. It has a three-year scope and sequence which takes us chronologically through the whole Bible, from Genesis through Revelation. Each lesson shows how all of Scripture points to Jesus and the Gospel message, and that God had this plan from the very beginning. The children also enthusiastically participated in Operation Christmas Child, and their Sunday morning offerings were used for Global Orphan Project, and we enabled 35 orphans to go to school. In 2014, we plan to continue the Gospel Project because we're very pleased with this content. We plan to continue the Wednesday Evening Prayer Circle, BBS, and Operation Christmas Child. Our Sunday offerings will be going to MANA going forward. Our summer mission team will be traveling to Honduras with MANA. We hope to bless a feeding center or an orphanage and that the mission team can personally give this gift. Many hands are needed to accomplish this task. If you want to serve God as an expression of your love and gratitude for all he has done, please join our team of volunteers and help make a direct impact on these young lives and the future of the church. 
We all look forward to what God has in store for us. My name is Dan Norton, and I'm a counselor with the youth group here at Crossbridge Church. 2013 has been an incredible year for us. We've seen many of our students grow spiritually. A few have followed Christ into baptism, and we've graduated 12 students. We've had many nights of teaching, hangouts, and parties. We went to summer camp and had a senior trip at Six Flags. We've had our largest Christmas party yet, where we had 42 students, many of which were newcomers, hearing the gospel for the very first time. In December, we started the Gospel Project, providing our students with opportunities to go deeper in God's Word each week with devotionals, scripture memorization, and deep discussions on Sunday mornings. On Wednesday nights, we've had many activities, we've played music, and we've studied scripture together. We've studied some topics such as suffering or doubt in your salvation, and we've gone through books of the Bible like Jonah, Psalms 119, and Colossians. We've also seen much spiritual growth as well as growth in numbers. We've even seen your students grow while Matt and Sharina have been gone. They've been holding each other accountable as well as encouraging Matt and Sharina through texts and prayer together. Our goal as a youth group is to glorify God by making gospel disciples. In order to do this, we'll continue to provide opportunities for our students to spend time together, for them to study the word together, and for them to apply that by serving our community. One way we'll be able to do this is by serving Island Harvest in getting food to the hungry and homeless of Long Island. For 2014, we're praying God continues to grow our students, to love Him supremely, and love our community sincerely through the application of His Word. We ask that you'd continue to join us in that prayer for this year. One of the ministries we feel like we can improve in 2014 is our First Impressions team. In 2013, we had over 90 visitors at Crossbridge Church. At that time, we only had three greeters and eight ushers to make them feel like this is their church home. We believe that the First Impressions team can help take a first-time visitor all the way through to an active member. Our mission intern, Mike Thompson, will be in charge of our First Impressions team. If you would like to be part of our First Impressions team or have any questions, please see him after the service.